Hello, today I want to talk to you about the differences between JPEG and RAW files. So I want to talk to you about JPEG and RAW files and the differences and the benefits um, between the two. This is something that I get asked a lot. Uh, do you shoot in RAW or do you shoot in JPEG? Well, let's go through a few things. Firstly, what I want to show you is this, and this is old school stuff, a negative and a print. Now this was the last time I used negatives, 2004. Um, and a good way to start to think about raw files and JPEGs is that your raw file is your negative and your JPEG is your print. So your raw file is like a negative. It captures all the information that you let into the camera without compressing it or processing it. Now, a negative, like a raw file, cannot be seen. It needs to be processed first so that you can see it. Now with a negative, you used a darkroom and chemicals and you produced a print. And with a raw file, you use software programs like Lightroom to process the raw file to create a print or a visible image. Now a JPEG, a JPEG file is your print. You can see it, you could email it, it's instant and it's there. And basically, it's a compressed version of a RAW file. Now with a JPEG, you have moderate um, information in the file to adjust and post-process, uh, but not as much as you do in a RAW file. So let's take a look at the actual file sizes between a JPEG and a RAW file. So what you've got here is the same file, the same image, and that's the original raw file. And this one here is the processed full size JPEG file. Over here is the image size. Now you can see that the JPEG is nearly six megabytes and the raw is 25 and a half megabytes, almost five times the size of file, which means that you've got almost five times the information within that file to play with. So let's demonstrate this digital light capture through a drawing. Let's go to my little piece of paper here. So we're gonna imagine, I want you to imagine that we're looking through one pixel. And we've got our JPEG pixel here. And here it is like that, and that's your JPEG pixel. Now your raw pixel is much, much bigger. It's got much more information within it. So here is much more depth of information. Whereas here in your JPEG, it's compressed information like that. Okay, so here you have your raw pixel with the depth of information, but it's a negative. And over here, you have your JPEG pixel, which is your processed raw pixel, and you can see it as an actual picture. It's been compressed there like that. Now, always remember that your raw pixel, like your, J, like your negative, you can't see. Whereas your JPEG pixel, you can see. You can see via your computer screen or you can print it out, etc. Now, what I would recommend to everybody is as you are learning photography, use JPEGs. It's much more important to get control of your photography first than it is to get control of your post-processing. The, um, you could be an expert in post-processing, but if you haven't got that picture right first, it's not gonna do you any favors at all. So don't start shooting in RAW until you've got full control over apertures, depth of field, shutter speeds, and things like that. 
Now in a later tutorial, which is on the YouTube channel, I'm gonna show you the benefits of shooting RAW and how you can post-process a RAW file. So go to the YouTube channel for that. If you like what you see and you like our tutorials, don't forget to like, share, follow us on social media. If there's anything else that you want us to cover at the School of Photography, put it in the comments below. And remember, learn more at the School of Photography.